We are learning new information about an in-flight emergency that forced a helicopter squadron at North Island to make a hard landing. The four crew members were taken to two different hospitals shortly after 11 p.m. last night. 10 News military reporter Bob Lawrence with what investigators will look for to determine the cause. Lights from crash rescue personnel surround the downed aircraft shortly after it landed on the North Island tarmac. The crew was assigned to HSM-75, known as the Wolfpack. Four crew members were taken by ambulance to two different hospitals, but their injuries were not considered life-threatening. They were flying one of the Navy's newest helicopters, the MH-60 Romeo, like this one. This is training video from Lockheed Martin. It's a multi-role helicopter. It fulfills both the anti-surface and anti-submarine warfare missions. But before any pilot climbs behind the controls, they spend dozens of hours in a simulator, training for every conceivable emergency. Sky 10 pilot Ruben Campos, who's been flying for 14 years, said a hard landing, especially in an emergency, is not all that uncommon. I can see somebody, as a pilot myself, see myself getting in that situation very easily, especially at night. Because at night, he said, depth perception can be an issue. Campos walked us through what he would do in a similar situation. Let the rotors use that, that inertia that it already has and let it glide down, all the way down to the ground. While the four crew members are recovering, investigators will be looking at everything involving that aircraft and crew. Jim Kidrick, a former naval aviator and head of the Air and Space Museum, said investigators will be very methodical. The maintenance log records, uh, you know, certainly any history with the aircraft itself. Because, he said, the absolute goal is to ensure the safety of other air crews. Bob Lawrence, 10 News. The air crew taken to UC San Diego Medical Center and Scripps Mercy are listed in stable condition.